<laughs> Carol, thanks very much. And uh, now they were one of the biggest bands of the 70s and 80s and have sold more than 150 million records worldwide. Genesis now rank among the top 30 highest selling recording artists of all time. The group is still together, but the members also have very successful solo careers, including Tony Banks, the keyboardist, who's here this morning. Morning to you. Um, his first orchestral album became a huge success. He's now back with a second offering, six pieces for orchestra. We'll talk to Tony in a moment. First, though, let's have a little bit of a reminisce, shall we, of Janice's biggest hits. <laughs> strange looking back in those I'm always intrigued watching people watching themselves because that must be going back quite a bit quite a bit yes no um, it is strange to watch yourself I mean it, you know you very conscious of how you've aged and everything and the others perhaps more the others in a way Phil's hair you can always date um, a video by what? his hair so it's kind of like his other sort of receding but he has his ones where he has a massive beard and things like that yes so well uh, we were talking a moment ago and I did say that you look remarkably well uh, and y you presumably have led a rock star life, and there are other people of your generation who possibly have not fared quite so well. well so I don't think I've perhaps lived enough of a rock star life, you know, just <clears throat> too clean living. No, you just, you know, it's, it's the way you are, isn't it? Some people mm. sort of age differently to others. <laughs> and you still all get on well, don't you? We do indeed, yes. Um, <clears throat> I see Mike quite often because he lives down the road, but Phil um, lives in Switzerland, so I don't see him very much. I see Peter every so often. You know, and the others as well, even mm -hmm. Anthony Phillips, our early guitarist, see him. So people who, who don't know about your new work, you've gone in a very different direction altogether, although, although presumably using the skills you've developed over the years, much more classical work. Well, yes, <clears throat> many years ago I did a, um, a film from Michael Winner called Wicked Lady, which used an orchestral um, soundtrack. And um, I just loved the way the music sounded, My, the things I'd written for that sounded. And I'd always wanted to get back to that. So about, about six or seven years ago now I did a, um, a suite called Seven, because <laughs> it had seven pieces on it. And, uh, and you know, it, it was quite, quite a challenge for me to do, but it actually turned out pretty good in the end, and, and it went down quite well. And I'd always wanted to do another one, so the next one's called Six. Mm -hmm. Don't ask what the next one's going to be called. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can... We Let's can have a listen, shall we? Yeah. This is Blade. It. The orchestra, City of Prague, is that right? City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra. Yeah, they're a sort of um, a band that... Are uh, I can't call them a band, can I? <laughs> well, I like An them. orchestra. <laughs> It's made up of, of various musicians from, from the Czech Republic, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, they did a fantastic job for me. Uh, they're just very, very enthusiastic, and they seem very into the music and things, which is really nice. And uh, obviously there you saw Charlie CM, who's the uh, violin soloist on one of the tracks, and he's um, a very promising up-and-coming guy. And mm -hmm. the, another player on the uh, records, Martin Robertson. Uh, he plays the alto saxophone on the opening piece, and he's another uh, very fine musician. When someone comes in from a, a rock background like yours into a different, you know, a different genre of music, orchestral in this case, do you feel like you have, do you feel like you're being you really have something to prove? Do you feel like people are going to be sort of checking the detail and the way things are put together and the musicianship? Everything is being judged possibly more than someone from that background. I think you go in with a severe inferiority complex actually when you, 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 you're with these musicians because uh, there's a sort of funny attitude a little bit I think some of the um, people in the classical world do look down on, on the rock world and there are others though who, who don't I mean, you know so you, you try to find the ones that I, I did when I did seven I, I, I had sort of started off with a few problems of that kind really you have to overcome that and that's why doing the second uh, piece was was so much more fun because I sort of knew what I wanted to do. I was much more confident, had the right people in place, and, it, and I think it worked much better. Um, lots of people are asking um, me to ask you this morning um, if you will go. Will you tour it? Can you take it on tour, or how could it could tour, it work? I think a tour, a bit little ambitious, but With you, could, the whole do, you, could, you could do one you, one or two shows. I, I wanted to perform, so I'd love to do that. 
it's another it's another thing to think about really yes. you've just got to it's it's just a matter of getting organizing everything but you it's and something you are definitely I'd love to do it I, mean, I think that the particular this this second um, record would, would sound really good live you know it's a big climax mm. at the end and everything and it just uh, I would love to do that on the same theme Genesis playing again what's how does that I sit? think Genesis we we describe ourselves as mothballed but I think I think there's a severe number of holes in the clothes now, actually. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's going to, I think we probably won't do it, you know, I think Phil particularly has sort of moved on somewhat and uh, we did do that last sort of little extra tour back th three or four years ago mm -hmm. as a sort of goodbye, that was the idea of it. Phil Collins has got a lot of stick over the years, hasn't he? Well, well for, he's, for he's lots short, of things. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, I don't know, I think he gets an undeserved amount of stick and, you mm. know, uh, but that seems to be there are certain people you kind of, um, who, who get that in, in all fields of entertainment, aren't there? Who, Comes from he, whipping boy, you know. What does he do? How does he deal with it? Does he, does he just ignore it? Not enough, in my opinion. Oh, right. um, I think you have to. That's what you should do: is just ignore it because you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the guy still when he when they did the you know that the monkey suit in the air tonight advertisement. I mean, it was fantastic, successful. Everybody loved it, and people forget just how much they really do like the music. Absolutely. Love to see you here. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Tony Banks. Thank you very much. And Tony's new album, Six Pieces for Orchestra, is out right now.